It's a trap. The doors have sealed Alexander inside. And the ceiling is coming down. Alexander is standing in a trap room with a crushing ceiling. And the ceiling is descending fast. The ceiling is grinding down with methodical determination, heedless of the human in its path. The gears are working furiously to lower the ceiling. Their great cogs interlock perfectly. Both exits from this room have been sealed shut by sliding panels. Alexander is trapped. There's nothing to do there that will help Alexander's predicament. Alexander can't stop the ceiling with his bare hands. Alexander's hands would be crushed to pieces in those gears. He can't stop them with his bare hands. The doors have been sealed shut. Alexander doesn't have time to try to force them open. Hello? Is anybody out there? Help me! Please! There is no reply. Only the noisy clanking of the gears. Alexander can't reason with the ceiling. The gears squeak noisily. The book would never hold those gears. It would just be ripped to shreds. Rotten Tomato would not appreciate being thrown into those gears. In a desperate move, Alexander throws a brick into the grinding gears. The brick is caught between two cogs. The gears shriek and shudder. The mechanism grinds to a halt. The ceiling is stuck. The trap is sprung. Alexander is standing in a trap room with a crushing ceiling. The mechanism that lowers the ceiling has been stopped, and the trap room now stands open. The ceiling is stuck in its path by the brick that Alexander threw into the gears. The gears have been permanently stopped by the brick. The brick has wedged tightly between two cogs, thus immobilizing the gears. The exits stand open now that the crushing ceiling has been jammed. Alexander doesn't want to mess around in this trap room now that he's free to go. The ceiling has stopped for the moment, and Alexander has no desire to disturb it again. Alexander doesn't want to do anything to disturb those broken gears. Even if Alexander wanted to retrieve the brick, He'd be unable to get it out of the cogs now. It's tightly wedged in place. The door is open. Alexander need only walk through it to exit the room. The room is empty. Even the gears are silent. Stay up, ceiling. Good ceiling. The gears are now silent. The brick can't speak, but if it could, it would probably complain about being stuck in the gears. Sounds! A trap floor! Alexander seems to have fallen to a lower level of the catacombs. Wherever he is, the place sure is dark. Alexander can't even see his hand in front of his face. Alexander can see nothing in the darkness. Alexander can't do anything in the room until he can see. Is... Is anybody there? There is no reply from the darkness.
Alexander takes the candle from his tinder box and uses the flint in the box to light it. Aha! So that's why it's dark in here. A torch is out. Alexander lights the extinguished torch and puts his tinderbox away. Alexander hears a low growling, so faint as to seem born of his fired imagination rather than of any living creature. Alexander is standing in a dead-end room in the catacombs. A tapestry hangs on the east wall, and the only exit lies to the south. A very beautiful, very dusty tapestry hangs on the wall. The east wall of this room looks like every other wall in the catacombs. Alexander does not see anything unusual about or under that tapestry, and the tapestry itself is much too heavy to take. Alexander sees nothing of interest about that wall. The tapestry weaves its tail in silence. Alexander would feel foolish talking to the wall. <laughs> 